You just finished your character model and it's looking amazing. Now you want to animate it so you can get into a game. You follow all the steps to rig up your character and whenever you pose it, it looks very weird on all the joints. How do we fix this? Well, it's very simple, having good topology. What is good and what is bad? Well, let me show you with a couple of examples. All right, so first around every joint, you want to have a loop. Okay, so this is our model before. So you can see it has a bit of a weird shoulder. And now if I pose this right now, you can see how weird this happens. So you can see, I can't even get it up to here. And it all looks weird because this looks weird. Uh, the, the shoulder itself looks weird. I mean, even if we like start raising the shoulder to get it, this all looks weird. So I'll show you how to fix it now. So usually what you want is a T pose for your character. That'll just instantly help your character just because you want, if your range of motion for your arm is like this, then having it down here and then when you bring the arm up it's going to look very weird so usually what you want is somewhere in the middle so you could do it like an a pose t pose um, so kind of just in between there you don't want to just straight down for the arms um, because you can see also we get this weird thing if you do it like this then it's like a square and goes out the side um, instead of like just having like a proper flow so let's change this to be a t pose so all I'm going to do is just delete these faces up here and then select these and let's press Y to separate it, rotate it up like this, uh, wait, go with general clipping, rotate it in, put it up here and then we can just select these, select the body, loop tools and then bridge or just fill them in with F. Okay. And then here, and then you can see we already have this sort of problem where the bottom looks weird, the top has looks a bit weird. Because what you want to generally have is you probably have like a shoulder over here. And then bring it up. Uh, and then you also want to have a loop on the inside of the body. So you have this one for like where the arm connects. And then you also want to have another one. So like this. So if I start drawing it in. You want to have a loop around. Now this is kind of a... Wait, so we can go around like this. We can just use the knife tool with K. Yeah. And then fix everything like here and then it's kind of just fixing the topology of everything so and at last let's join the center so it's just m to join um and then i guess you could even get rid of this one and then just use this um or leave it like there so basically what you want is to have a loop around the shoulder for when you're doing this because this will look a lot better when posing so you can see we it's a very low poly character, so you probably could get a better example. But let me rig this and show you how much better it is. So let me select my rig and then go to pose mode. And then you can see here, if I go rotate this, you can see this happens, which obviously looks pretty bad. So first step is to add some more topology in. So you can see we just have this simple thing over here. So for what we can do is just go add two edge loops. So usually I'll just go like bevel it and then just go add an edge hoop in the middle, okay? So that is just a quick way of fixing it. And it won't fix it completely, but it will certainly help. So if I go uh, redo the weight paint, you can see it is working fine, but we can get this deformations in the middle better. So what I find is the best is if you go do this, make this a bit wider and then select these two, join with J, select these two, join with J, select these two, join with J, select these two and join with J. And then if we select these three in the middle and go X, dissolve edges, okay? So it looks a bit weird. So you can like mess around with like the placement of everything. Um, but what this is gonna do is it will go, if you select chap and then you rotate it, it will make the deformation so much better in the middle of the elbow, keeping its shape and not looking super weird like before. Nothing's clipping into each other. So let's check A before and after. All right, so now your model is looking amazing. Now, next off, you actually need to learn how to rig it properly. So click this video up here to learn more.